Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video I wanted to focus on nails. So I love doing my own nails and I specifically love the Gelex method using the BT Art Box nail tips. I have a few videos using their different nail tips. The most recent ones were the milky white ones, which I'll try to link the video here so you guys can check it out. And those are a lot sturdier and thicker, I would say, than their other nail tips. And I really loved how they looked, but I took them off today. I get this question a lot, how do I remove the my Gelex nail tips? And there are a lot of great professional videos on YouTube if you guys want to check them out but it's essentially the soak off method you soak it in acetone some people will say to file down the first few layers to make soak off easier but it's essentially soaking in pure acetone and it can be time consuming and tedious but it's the least damaging don't pop them off don't rip them off because that will you know take off layers of your own natural nail and you don't want that but today I did something a little bit different and it's not the recommended method but I just wanted to share in case this works for you because I have found it to be a lot easier but a few things that I wanted to know is that for starters most gel products don't adhere to my nail very well in general like it's very easy for me to remove nail products so if you're someone that like gel products or acrylics or something stick really well to your nail plate then this might not be the method for you because it might not want to come off and then also I use a gel glue so with the gelix method you have to use a gel glue nail glue gel to adhere it to your natural nail and I use one in a tube from Una Gela and that one does not dry stiff. It remains very jelly. And I decided to remove my nails as I was sitting outside and I used this glue off instant false nail remover from Kiss right here and this is actually meant for glue on nails, the ones I use with like nail glue, not the Gelix method. But I thought, well, let me give it a try and see if it works. So I had my daughter, my four year old mind you, film a segment so I'll insert it here keep in mind it's not going to be like the best angle or anything but as I was removing them I wanted to film a clip to kind of show you guys and what you, I did is I took the glue off and kind of applied a little bit around the free edge to loosen the free edge and then slowly the free edge started to lift and then I was able to squeeze more underneath and eventually the nail popped off and I wanted to note that the actual nail tip popped off but the glue remained glued to my natural nail so basically it was like the nail glue tip the nail glue and then my natural nail so what this did is it took off the nail tip from the nail glue i'll also insert a video of what my nails look like with the glue still on it so i still had to remove the glue but it's so much easier in my opinion to remove the remaining glue you can file it off soak it off at this point you know use whatever method is you think is best um but this way it was quick easy i didn't really experience like it wasn't damaging like i didn't if you feel that they're not coming off and you're tearing at your own natural nail then do not continue don't do it just thought i'd mention it maybe it's worth a try if you hate the soak off method give it a try if you find that it's you know not coming off then just you know don't do it don't keep moving forward always be wary and mindful of stuff that you hear on youtube that includes everything that i just mentioned but i just wanted to mention it because it just worked so well for me and you can buy it on amazon the glue off you can buy it at walmart target wherever but now my nails are all ready for a next set and i'm not going to be using nail tips i kind of like the length like a nice short length so i'm going to be using a builder gel i bought this on amazon it's from savvy land savvy land and it is a builder gel in a jar like this and it has like this pump top almost like a moisturizer would and you squeeze out only how much you need it also comes with the foil nail forms that you put underneath if you want to do like an extension i'm not going to be doing an extension i'm just going to keep the length that i have so i'm going to be using this builder gel here it also comes with a brush as well along with the nail forms i have my nail bond here protein bond my base and top coat and then I have some new gel nail products that I want to try and these are all from the brand I don't know if it's model owns or model ones I'm gonna say model owns and this is solid color gel polish solid cream gel polish I thought it was really cool concept it's new to me it might not be new to you guys but it's definitely new to me so I got these cubes right here in shades red and like a brown and then I got a an entire palette of different colors so let me show you guys the color cubes first so here's the red one and it looks like a blush cream or lipstick or something but it's essentially solid cream gel polish and i just thought it was so cool so this is the red it's like a nice fun bright red and i think this is the one that i'm going to use today and then i also picked up a 
from like a brown color and this one's called warmest toast i absolutely love this name i thought it was so cute and this one i did smudge a little bit i was like opening it and i accidentally smeared it you can see it smeared right there a little bit but it's this nice toasty brown color if you will and then i got a color cube as well they have different types of palettes they have ones with like nine shades i got the one with i'm not sure it doesn't say let's open it and find out and i love the packaging on this it's like a vintage vinyl record and it also comes with a brush as well let me peel off this sticker here because we don't need it anymore there are 21 shades and it says that if you, it says water droplets or bubbles after you open it are normal and won't affect usage because I did see some like water droplets, but how cool is this? I thought it was so cool. It's like a cream solid gel palette. I was like, I have to try this. It has a few pastel -y colors, a few shimmery ones, and then some bright ones. Perfect for Easter, spring, summer. Oh, and it says you can even like mix the colors right here says mix here so i guess you can like mix different shades and make your own colors i i don't know really cool concept in my opinion so today i'm just going to try the red one here i'm sure it's the same formula and i'm going to use the brush that's included it does come with a brush i also bought like a solution it's called their brush cleaning essence to clean brushes i think on their amazon page for this product they used it also to liquefy it if you needed to so i just bought it just to have just in case so first things first i'm going to go ahead and wipe my nails with some isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any excess oils and then i'm going to go ahead and apply some protein bond this one's from young nails it just helps that's like an extra step of adhesion and this product you do not cure it will air dry and then i also have i should have opened this beforehand but i also have my nail lamp here and then some uv gloves that i wear to protect my hands just in case i'm gonna go ahead and actually apply one of the gloves so that it's on and I don't have to worry about smudging anything later. I'm gonna start off with a base coat. So I have my foundation gel right here from Beatles. I got it as a set foundation and a top coat. It's a no wipe top coat, so I really like it. I don't know, it's very affordable and then it seems to work well. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this to every single nail and then cure it under the nail lamp. And then go ahead and cure that fun part we're gonna go in with the builder gel so i'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this i think it's a really cool concept for packaging because you only kind of squeeze out however much you need and i'm gonna go ahead and apply this as like a builder gel to strengthen my natural nails I'm pretty happy with the sturdiness like they still feel like my natural nails so what I'm gonna do now is actually I'm gonna try it says to wipe them clean with a slip solution so you can use isopropyl alcohol but I'm gonna use this brush cleaning essence and just wipe the tops to get rid of that sticky layer and I'm gonna use this same solution to clean this brush here before closing it which I'm gonna use it for the other hand but just to kind of clean it off a bit and put it back in the tube now I'm going to use a nail file and gently file the tops to get rid of that smooth surface and also if you have like any ridges or an evenness, shape them a bit as well. And now for the fun part, I'm going to try the solid cream color gel right here. It says go in with one layer, cure it, and then if you need to go in with a second layer, cure it, and then third layer. But... <laughs> kind of nervous i don't want to destroy this beautiful oh ooh, that's so cool okay let's start off with this nail here i might have grabbed too much let me wipe some on this nail here and i also feel like the brush is kind of stiff if the brush is too stiff it says to use the slip solution to kind of soften it a bit so i'm going to go ahead and do that Okay, so I don't know if I used too little, but I'd rather use too little than too much. It's definitely pretty transparent and not 
opaque with the light layer that I did, so I'm gonna need to do two. Alright guys, here's the finished result. I absolutely love this color. It's such a fun like summer electric red. It's so beautiful and they have a ton of other colors that I'm really excited to try out as well. So honestly overall, I feel like it is such a great concept for doing your nails. I did want to share a few thoughts before I went ahead and close out the video. I love the concept behind these and just from first impressions, I think these are really great. They do say that it's great for beginners and I, at first I was like, oh, this is probably not the best for beginners, but as you're working with it, sorry, my kids are playing over there with their friends, but as you're working with it, I feel like this is very easy to use because it's like a solid cream product. It's very easy to spread out. It's not as liquid, so you can avoid flooding the cuticles. You can really control control where you're applying it even as I was doing my non-dominant hand I thought oh my gosh it's gonna be so much fun doing my right hand since I'm right-handed but honestly it wasn't that bad the only thing I will say is that it is a little bit tedious and time-consuming as opposed to like what I'm used to using in a bottle gel polish in a bottle but overall I had a really great experience absolutely love this electric red color right here and they have tons of other shades and then they also have these palettes here like I said where you can get a ton of really cool colors like all in one like this one has 21 all in one they're playing horses by the way if you're wondering what that is that's like their new newest obsession is horses and i feel like this little tub right here is gonna last you quite a while you can get quite a few manicures out of this this is all that i used i used two layers on each hand and this is all that I used up. Very easy to store, so space saving as well. I'd also recommend buying the brush cleaning essence. It helps keep the brush from getting stiff and then it helps to clean the brush as well. Um, and another thing I wanted to say is that if you accidentally get some like on the skin, it's very easy to clean up as well just because it's like a thicker cream consistency. So overall, 10 out of 10. I'm very happy with these. Really excited to play around with these right here. I think it's just such a great concept. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in future videos.